Manitoba's holding a contest to create a brand new license plate for its parks, so I figured I'd give it a go. If it does happen to win and go into production, then I think I might just have to uh, make a second visit to Manitoba, see some of the parks for myself. The province wants you to design their new Manitoba Park specialty license plate, but that doesn't mean a Manitoban will be the one to do it, as a license plate artist from out of province is hoping his design will be the one that's ultimately chosen. I've been collecting license plates since I was three, four years old. Ethan Kraft has loved collecting license plates since he was a child, housing nearly 2,000 plates in his possession, and now has brought that passion to social media with nearly 500,000 followers on TikTok alone. I would say 95% or more of my followers are not license plate collectors. They just appreciate an insight into something they've maybe never thought about. Um, but I get comments saying, oh, I've started collecting because of you. Oh, I've started looking at license plates and paying attention. So when Kraft saw the call to action from Riding Mountain MLA Greg Nesbitt to submit a design for the new Manitoba Park specialty license plate, he jumped on the chance. I've only been eligible to enter two. This is my second one. Typically, they stipulate you need to be a resident of the state or province. You need to be within a certain age bracket, whatever the, whatever the parameters are. The only requirement for the plate is to have an emblem on the left side and a slogan along the bottom. But Kraft says his idea was to feature dozens of Manitoba's parks, which he says has been positively received by his viewers and hopes Manitoba thinks the same as designing a plate is a collector's dream. Oh, that's, you know, that's the ultimate uh, honor and that's one of my, my bucket list items. While we have to wait for the winning plate to be unveiled for the 2025 camping season, we do know that roughly a million dollars will be generated for local park projects as proceeds from sales of the plates support Manitoba's Provincial Parks Endowment Fund. In Winnipeg, Mitchell Ringo's City News.